Hello all, welcome to Autobot YouTube channel. Myself Rahul Nikishni. Today we are going to learn the option compatibility while you are creating the automation projects in UiPath. So few of you may have confused by seeing this option compatibility, right? So are you confused like what is this compatibility and which combat compatibility that you need to choose during your uh, automation creation? Okay, if you are confused, please watch the entire video to get more clarity on the compatibility option in UiPath. Okay, so I'm just hovering on this question mark. So what is compatibility? Select a framework compatible with the operating system of your execution environment. So here you need to choose the compatibility or the version is totally based on the operating system in which you are going to execute your automation flow. Okay, so there are three types of compatibility available that is Windows cross platform and Windows legacy. Okay, so let us understand what are these three options. Okay, so let me open this notepad. When you create a new project, select the compatibility based on the environment on which the project will run that we have already seen. And what is Windows? Uses .NET 6 with Windows support. This is the default option. Okay, so it means uh, as we all know, like Microsoft has uh, recently launched the .NET 6 and it is the uh, latest version of .NET. And with the latest introduction of .NET 6, uh, we have the new uh, framework that is Windows. Okay, so whenever if you are going to create a new project in UiPath, you have to choose Windows if you are going to execute your automation flow in the Windows uh, environment. Okay, and that will be the default option. Cross platform, as we all know, uh, um, usually this UiPath uh, automations we can execute in Windows machine and it will not support Linux and Mac. Right. That was the situation earlier, but now UiPath has introduced a new framework that is cross platform. Okay, so if you select this compatibility, it will help to create a project with some changes to the activities, and using that project, you can execute in uh, Mac OS or in Linux using the assistant that is dedicatedly uh, uh, prepared for those OS. Okay, so it doesn't mean like the OS uh, that uh, or the system that is prepared for um, Windows can uh, can be used with Mac. That is not the current option. Like if you are going to create a cross platform, that project that you are creating in UiPath can run in Mac OS using the Mac OS Assistant. Okay, so that is the purpose of a cross platform, and that is also using the .NET 6 framework. Okay, but what about a Windows Legacy? As the name suggests, that is the legacy framework. Okay, it uses .NET framework 4.6.1. The compatibility used in releases prior to 2021.10. Okay, so prior to the release of our UiPath, uh, we had only one uh, compatibility that is Windows Legacy. Okay, so we were able to execute only in Windows machine prior to this release of uh, Windows. Right, and now we are uh, with the launch of 2022.10. Right, so with that, there are a lot of changes happened. We have the cross platform, we can execute the automation projects in uh, Linux as well as in Mac environment with the uh, introduction of cross platform compatibility. Okay, so let's go to documentation. And one more thing here I want to highlight is uh, still with UiPath Studio, we are able to create projects with all these three compatibility. Okay, even though we have .NET 6, still we are able to create Windows Legacy. But as for the information that uh, UiPath has provided by the uh, introduction of 2023 versions of UiPath Studio, uh, we won't be uh, having this feature like Windows Legacy compatibility will not be there, only cross platform and Windows compatibility will be there in the uh, UiPath Studio. Okay, then what will happen to the projects that we already created uh, in Windows Legacy? Still, we can use the Windows Legacy, but as per the suggestion from UiPath, we need to migrate the Windows Legacy project to Windows project. Okay, for that, actually, they are providing one engine also. Using that engine, we can easily migrate the project from Windows Legacy to Windows. I will tell you how you can migrate the project from Windows Legacy to Windows uh, platform. Okay, so before that, let me go to some documentations. 
okay so here you can see dot support for dotnet based project and introduce the concept of project compatibility based on target framework okay so in release prior to 2021.10 uh, all projects use dotnet framework 4.6.1 but in studio uh, 2021.10 you have had the option to create project with a windows legacy compatibility or with the windows and cross platform compatibility with dotnet it means like before to this 2021.10 version we only had the option of creating projects with a dotnet framework 4.6.1 okay and that was the windows legacy compatibility but with the introduction of 2021.10 uh, release and at the same time only dotnet has released the latest version of uh, sorry uh, dot, that is dotnet 6 uh, after that we had uh, three compatibility that is windows legacy cross platform and windows compatibility okay and what depreciation means like the default compatibility for new project is now windows and while we continue to support the windows legacy compatibility New features and improvements will mostly be available only in projects with the Windows and cross-platform compatibility. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, like uh, if you already created one project using Windows Legacy compatibility, you can still use it. But what are the new enhancements that is happening to new features and improvements? It will be happening only to Windows and cross-platform and it will not happen to the Windows Legacy compatibility. Okay, I hope you understood. That's why Windows uh, UiPath is suggesting to migrate your project from Windows Legacy to Windows to get the better enhancement and features. Okay, that is going to happen uh, to the UiPath uh, products. Uh, for example, support for creating global variable and constants in data manager. So all these uh, things like data manager and all uh, newly introduced with the 2022 uh, .10 version. So uh, any of these things we can't see with the uh, Windows Legacy version. Okay, so whatever new features that is introduced in 2022.10 version, we cannot see that in a Windows Legacy project. Okay, we can see those uh, features only in Windows and uh, cross platform. Uh, let me go to uh, understand uh, this cross platform. Um, uh, document so you may be confused like what is cross platform right cross platform automation projects are designed to run cross platform on windows linux and mac os operating system okay the ui automation activities pack you can create chrome browser uh, based automation project that run cross platform it means you can create only chrome based automations and if you create a project in windows with cross platform you can execute the same thing in linux as well as in mac os okay and there are certain limitations as well for doing this automation limitations in the sense like um, okay the following modern activities have been modified and made usable uh, available in the uh, prototype it means like uh, uh, whatever the activities that you can see in a windows machine okay those same thing you cannot use in uh, mac right so there can be some compatibility issues will be there between the os version so if you if you are going to create a cross platform uh, uh, project you can use all this activity but some modernization will be there to this activity okay for example uh, here you can see our default uh, activity is use application bar browser right but if you are going to create a cross platform this activity is renamed to use browser and is no longer suitable for integrating anything else than browser windows okay also uh, the resize window and window attach mode properties are no longer available because we cannot resize the window size and the window, window attach mode properties are no longer available. So it means the, there can be some standardization that is going to happen uh, if you are going to uh, create a cross platform um, project. And even this recorder also, uh, app bar web recorder has been modified and can now record Chrome based automation. Okay, so it is the only recorder available for this project type okay so i hope you got an understanding uh, i'll be providing this link to the links in the description so you can go through this uh, document and get better understanding of what is cross platform and what are the changes that will happen if you're creating a cross platform and if you're creating a windows uh, project okay so that's it about um, cross platform and uh, windows legacy and uh, windows project. then one more thing as i mentioned like uh, just consider if i'm creating a windows legacy project okay so with current release we have windows legacy cross platform and windows but by the release of 2023 versions uh, as per uipath this windows legacy will not be available okay only windows and 
post platform compatibility will be there. So let me create a Windows legacy project. Click on create. Do you want to save the main file? Yes. So it is uh, creating the project. So now I have uh, selected the uh, UiPath Windows Legacy project. Right? So this Windows Legacy project was suitable for uh, .NET 4.6 versions, right? And it's not compatible with the .NET 6 version, right? So if you create a Legacy project uh, in uh, UiPath Studio, it will directly recommend you to migrate your project. Okay. So here at the top, you can see. Okay, let uh, it complete adding the dependencies. <clears throat> okay so at the top you can see it is showing one error it's not an error it's showing one warning okay still you can continue with the windows legacy project but it is showing one warning like this project uses the windows legacy uh, legacy compatibility which is being phased out and will no longer be available for new projects in the next enterprise release okay it means from the next enterprise release this windows legacy compatibility will not be there in uipath okay so it is recommending you to directly convert the uh, legacy project to uh, windows okay so here you can see our current project is windows legacy and it is directly showing you one message like to convert the project to windows okay so if you want to convert the existing project or uh, a new project that is in uh, created in windows legacy what you can do Just click on this convert to windows okay so currently uh, we have this project.json right so let me open this project for, uh, file Okay, so at the bottom you can see target framework is legacy. So it is using a legacy framework. So let me close this and uh, let me go back to a project and I'm going to click on convert to Windows. Okay, so whoever is using this Windows legacy project as per the recommendation from UiPath, you need to do this conversion to get the better features from uh, UiPath from the next release of Enterprise uh, version. Okay, so I'm going to click on convert to Windows. Okay, it will ask you like whether you need to create a new project or uh you uh need to make the changes to the current one okay if i decide that it will uh show you one one like your project will be modified and you cannot undo this action okay so once you convert the project to windows you cannot undo the changes to windows legacy okay so let me click on cancel what i can do so the better safe side is always try to create a new project okay don't make the changes to your current existing project okay so always try to enable this create a new project and uh, you can choose your option and what is the name of uh, the project so let me name it like okay compatibility underscore windows you can name as per your requirement okay you can give some description click on convert okay then it will take some time and you can see it is migrating the project okay so it is migrating the entire project from windows legacy to uh, windows okay so whatever the dependencies are there it is migrating everything like all the dependency packages or the settings everything it is migrating to the windows version so currently our uh, old project was open with windows legacy right so if we are, if uh, the new project were open it will be showing like a windows okay so that means our uh, migration is completed and here one more thing that i need to tell you is like um, as i mentioned this uh, windows uh, legacy it's compatible with the dotnet 4.6 versions right and if you are using some customized framework Okay, uh, or custom is libraries in your project. Uh, if you are migrating, it will not impact the libraries. Okay, so what you need to do? You need to push that library. Uh, if there is a custom one, you need to push that library to the latest Windows, and then you need to use that in the new converted project. Okay, otherwise it will throw the exception. Okay, so here you can see VB Windows, and it has uh, um, converted the project to a Windows compatibility. So let me do one thing. Let me go to project. Okay, so this is the project, right? Let me open the project.json file. Let me go down. Yeah, here you can see the target framework is Windows. Okay. And as I mentioned earlier, like once you convert the project to Windows, you cannot um, undo the changes back to uh, Windows Legacy. Okay. So I hope you got a clear understanding about 
what are this uh, different compatibility that is Windows Legacy, cross platform, and Windows, and how you need to choose this compatibility while creating the project, and uh, mm, how you can convert the uh, project or migrate the project from Windows Legacy to Windows version. Okay, so if there is any confusion regarding this topic, please do comment in the comment section. And if you like the video, please like the video, uh, please share with your friends, and uh, don't forget to subscribe our channel. So, thanks for watching the video. Bye.